what it is, what's up, got a YouTube video in the cut, not a podcast, but I might be on my podcast services too, so, got your podcast potentially in the cut as well, uh, Biscuits from Heaven, and if it's the podcast, the podcast is called Telesis, a societal podcast, either way, uh, your joint here, uh, back in the weeb house, um, for the first time in about five months, and... Back to Attack on Titan on the channel for the first time in about five months. Um, so if you haven't been following Attack on Titan, about this time last year, we had a crescendo, uh, chapter 120, 119 to about 122, um, maybe the greatest arc written-wise in manga history. Um, and since then, you know, it's been very low-key, a uh, couple ups, a couple highs, a little bit, a couple few few uh, but mainly you know pretty much your standard uh, uh how, how do i say uh shonen friendship nonsense um wasting time till you get from uh important pl important plot event to important plot event making sure that too many main characters don't die uh, you know just about every 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 shonen at this point in the series with a few chapters to go has to figure out a way to make the stakes s still feel real while taking you from point to point B. And, um, I would say Isayama's done a, a decent job at that. Uh, it really, really kind of, you know, threw the, the, the belief out of the window when I saw Levi survive when he had to survive. You, you know Levi's not going to die before he gets into some kind of battle or some shit like that. Levi had no business surviving he survived um then you had like all of them just like everybody survived everybody that matters survived the uh the attack by flox crew uh fucking gabby comes in and gets a killer shot again so that we're here at this point now and and they they see aaron for the first time he's getting close to land they realize, uh, not they, but Annie realized that Liberio can't be saved, and that's where her father's at, so. Here we go. Let's start with a flashback. Look a little. We're not the ones who know about this hiding place. We'll save money until the bag is full. So I guess they're, you know, trying to save money, maybe get the fuck out of there. Uh, okay. If we keep stealing like this, sometimes you get your left hand cut off, too. Jesus. What the heaven? Now you're gonna make the winter people die every year. Mm -hmm. My dog please is my area, yeah, yeah, so let's see what we got. Okay. This reminds me a lot. Not please please understand this. I'm not being racist or religious, ethnicist. This reminds me of the Jews during the Holocaust. I don't mean that to say anything negative about the Jews. But the scenery and the imagery reminds me of Jews in the Holocaust. Nothing about that is meant to be offensive in any way possible. That just the imagery believe may be not that. Okay, this is the rumbling. This is not just the imagery. That's it. Anyway, that's a cool way to, to introduce uh, the rumbling. We just get this offshoot. Uh, situation that honestly seems pretty interesting the context of which it comes from um so they're going like you know we know that they're going to uh marley marley has some very you know strict rules um in other situations that's more pertaining to uh eldians but it seems they have strict rules even with other people uh i imagine there's crying yeah there's crying is rumbling definitely uh, this is a cool imagery, though. Look, look at this. This reminds me of Sukiyomi. Uh, the first Sukiyomi. Someday, those people, I'll massacre them all. Fucking Aaron, bro. Dude's a sociopath. Uh, is he wrong? I don't know. Yeah, I, don't think, I don't think wrong exists at this point. The shading is so interesting with Isayama. He put so much work into that. Before long, they'll all die. No, I'll kill them. This one's like looking back like this motherfucker. This is crazy. If I send you to two pairs of islands and finally survive, like every, anything and everything will be lost. Dreams, animals, houses, lives, people. See, when you describe it like that, you know, that's, that's a little bit sociopathic. You, if you, 
He's not describing it as I want to get revenge for being the hunted people for millennia. That's that's not the way he's phrasing it. He's phrasing it like I want to fucking eviscerate all of their generations, their timelines. I mean, come on. I don't know. He's crazy, but yeah, I don't know if he's wrong. That's something I can't decide. Are the ones who must die us alien people just like how the kings of the walls chose a path of suicide? So at this point, I know he touched the story and he saw it like pretty much the paths um, that he had took Zeke on. And he already saw that. And then he already like, I think he already had the ability to transform it to his liking. At the very least, a number of people between the island and outside that would die is a huge difference. It's the truth that the alien people were to be completely instinct the problem the Titans would be gone. But that outcome is not one that I can agree with. See, it's like... Th and another thing with Aaron's like sense of, of, of justice is not all the way based on facts. Because right there he faced the fact and he did not agree with that fact whatsoever. The lesser evil in terms of fatalities would be the Eldians being extinct. That's that's a reality that he was faced with. And he chose to go in a different direction than that reality, which is let's continue fighting because we don't want to be impressed. This is this has no transitive property to any kind of real sense. There's no situation in humankind where exterminating one minority would better the the world in any kind of sense because there's no people that are fucking titans uh <laughs> but it's like at the same time there's another there's another there's discussion to be had that why should innocent people be exterminated and that that's a moral dilemma that i can't even begin to if you have the power to decide that yourself i can't imagine where you stand at this here's a refugee from another country in her peter fender pick pocket so this is just us tradesmen doing a bit of, bit of pest control it's got nothing to do with you get lost You know, I'll kill that boy someday. How I can see it. There are no limits of violence I'll be committing from here on. There are no excuses for my pretend justice. Okay. So he admits to it. Off rip. I mean, that's cool. That had something to it. Thank you. The future doesn't seem like it can be changed. So this is Aaron, I imagine. Is that the kid he just saved? Oh, because he got the hat on. Okay, so that's a, that's a pickpocket kid. The dude has been saving money. That's not the one with the hand cut off. I was the same Rainer, a piece of shit. No wrong or worse than that. I'm sorry, I'm sorry. Oh, Jesus. Fuck me. Alright, that, that's that's a good scene. That's a pretty good scene. And this, the detail in this writing here. Look at the individual, like... He doesn't even skirm, like, skimp on the individual lines in the houses. So it could easily be, like... I've forgotten about the grand scheme of how detailed the just the individual legs are, the veins of the fucking titans. He doesn't even skimp on the lines on these houses. This is the thing. I love the the feel, the feeling, the constant enjoyment of of weekly uh, serial chapters and and series, but monthly chapters, from what I see, I. Back when I first started getting into manga, weekly chapters were like pretty much like the standard. Like Naruto's weekly, I believe One Piece is weekly. I don't know if it's still this weekly. I imagine it's not, but um, it might be. I don't know. Um, I believe Bleach was weekly. Bleach I think ended a little bit before, a little bit after I believe that too. But I believe I believe Bleach was weekly. Bleach was weekly. Um, Naruto was. And I don't know who else was hot around the time, but there were some other ones that were like, like, like really hot. Like you know, Yu Gi Oh still was a thing. Um, fucking Tokyo. Uh, anyway, the hottest, the hottest series were were, were weekly in two thousand and you know eleven, twelve. And if you recognize the, the problem, with a lot of those series, the two main ones, Bleach and Naruto, had a lot of line problems, like continuity issues. A lot of um, goals they couldn't reach, and a lot of things that 
just came to a head towards their final sagas. If you remember those two, One Piece, I think, switched to monthly at some point. I'm not sure. Uh, but Oda also is apparently some kind of fucking prodigy. So I don't know if it's fair to compare him to Kubo, who is also a prodigy at writing and drawing and shit. Well, drawing. The writing aspect kind of is where he gets lost. And Masashi Kijimoto made Naruto. But Oda is supposed to be like a fucking prodigy, like in every sense of being a manga artist, a mangaka. So, you know, it's a little bit different. But the point is, is like, monthlies, look at, look at Araki. Look at, I think Oda does monthly now. Look at this. Look at Berserk whenever it drops a chapter. The <laughs> monthly is something different. It's a different animal altogether. Maybe it's advantage the weekly. It keeps the interest up, all that shit. Um, I believe I believe MHA is also monthly, but I think they have pretty well drawn manga chapters. I haven't read too many MHA chapters, but and also I think they have pretty well uh, written chapters too, uh, or drawn, not written. But the art, the, the just what Araki puts into these things, man, they're just so well done. God, we man, run from somewhere high up, go up the mountain. Dude, this is crazy. They're surrounding them. Holy shit. They might be running away from me. It's just a joke. We're going to be crushed. No way you can't give up. They said the island aliens know what he just said. I live with the money. Motherfucker, forget that money, dog. Get the fuck out of there, bro. I mean, I, I, I say that myself, but that dude lost a hand for that fucking money. Did you imagine your hand chopped off and like losing that shit? It was really Bionic Walls. It was different than what I dreamed of. Halil. Oh, man. Is Aaron going to save the day for those kids? Aaron's going to save those kids from dying, isn't he? From the world I saw in Armin's book, it was different. Well, I learned that humanity lived outside the walls. I was disappointed. Oh my god. Yo, hold on. Hold on. <laughs> Aaron's not saving the fucking day, bro. There's no Superman. <laughs> oh man. Oh god. Yo. I may have to. I, I, got, I gotta edit something in right here. Monday through Sunday, yo. Monday through Sunday. But now you keep your drunk ass on that fucking runway, ho. Oh, man. Golly. Dude, what a fuck. See, like, the, the scattered, like... And, you know, it, it just feels... It's like he's... Rocky's giving us, like, these shonen tropes of the past few chapters. And you get this shit right here. He's just... These kids, these innocent kids... If you watch Game of Thrones, it's reminiscent of that. So, like, the whole world's burning down. And then, like... The guys are supposed to care about, like this new family supposed to care about that talk to Arya Stark. Like they get, they get like ten feet down the way, and then Arya leaves them like to get burned the fuck alive by Drogon or some shit like that. Uh, I think I think it was, it's either I think it was I think they got crushed uh, themselves. But it's like this: we get we introduce these guys, and we're supposed to care about them over the course of this chapter, and then fucking rocks come by and just crush them, and then you get this polarizing message to the image with Aaron. When I learned that humanity lived outside the walls, I was disappointed. God damn. He's grabbing the money still, even after death, though. Got one leg shattered by a rock like Obito. Still grabbing the money. Head knocked in. God damn. Made something from nothing. I wish for everything to somehow disappear. I'm sorry. Because he knew what was going to happen. Fuck, are you kidding me? A Rocky, Jesus Christ. You got to admit. <laughs> God damn, Rocky, what the fuck? Jesus Christ, a Rocky, are you serious? He knew that kid was going to get killed that and just how the kid died. Golly, and you got a mirror flashing in there. Dude, what a fucking panel. 
That's fucked up. And they're all gonna die too, just like that. Fuck me. Ever since I was born in front of my eyes. What the fuck? It's always been a depressing wall. Burning water, land made of ice, snowy plains of sand, outside world so much wider than what's inside these walls. Those who so this is like now a snippet from the book he was talking about. But the fucking the, the, it's just majestic what he's doing with with drawing this. They flatten the entire like city into nothing. Like that that was a city. It's nothing. Holy shit. I mean, they said they said what it was gonna be like, but saying and seeing is two different things. Cause fuck me, man. You got like the parallel of a, a city still intact for a period of time. All right, burning water, land made of ice, snowy plains of sand. The outside world is so much wider than, wider than what's inside these walls. Those who have seen it must be in all the world. Jeez, fucking catastrophes. Must be in all the world the most free. And there's like Aaron fucking showboating out of here. Fucking WWE, SCW, Freedom. This is his idea of freedom right here. It's just childlike idea of justice. <laughs> Finally, I've reached it. This scenery, hey, Armin. It's like a past moment right here. Have your wounds healed already? He's like connecting what I guess Aaron's train of thought here. Since there was time unbelievably on being able to pass it so carefully, I don't think that, that could be the case. I didn't think that could be the case. I just thought that I haven't thanked you yet. Oh, let's just start talking to me. Thanks. I thought I'd go crazy from the loneliness talking to you and Hitch was something I look forward to. Didn't Hitch die? I think Hitch recently died, right? Some shit like that. I don't know. But why would you choose a rock of all things for a conversation partner? Wasn't there someone more Someone brighter and more fun. His friends were fucking meek as hell. Aaron, he didn't really have too much fun in his life. It's because I wanted to see you, Andy. Well, stop simping, man. Jesus Christ. Harmon is just everything wrong with a shonen character. Dude, simping is the fucking end of the world. He's still simping with a girl that, that like, ate half his team or some shit. Goodness gracious. Just fuck her. Just fuck her right now. I mean, you just give, give, give yourself a Jamie Lannister moment. Well, I think she'd be Jamie Lannister. He'd be Brianna Tarth. But give, give, give one of those moments that just like let Annie get, just walk out of some shit. Really, what are we doing? Right now, thousands and millions of people are out there being crushed. We just what are we doing? That's why I'm asking. I get it. Since you're a good person, you even talk to an enemy like me. The same reason you won't give up on talking to Aaron. When are you gonna realize keeping company with a monster like me too? You just run away from con conflict, aren't you? Yeah. Is this, is this like Iraq is speaking exactly what we're saying? Sit down. It's like the most balls of anything Arm has done in like the past 150, well, 150 chapters. Well, no, 100. No, fuck. The past 50 chapters is what I meant to say. Not, not 150 chapters. I don't even think it's been 150 chapters. It's 131. Fuck. And I've said this before, but I hate being called a good person after all. This is a Mary Sue. In every sense of the word Mary Sue, that has become Armin. He is a Mary, he is Brie Larson uh, slash Captain Marvel. That is him. He is Mary Sue through and through. And even him trying to be not Mary Sue is him being Mary Sue. I've killed many. I, I'll, I'll give it this. It's the Attack on Titan version of a Mary Sue because a Mary Sue traditionally would not kill somebody for their own good, you know, to survive, to help the world survive. That's not something that Mary Sue would do. You gotta adjust it a little bit to this series, you know. Not only so just people, children too. She was a betrayer by a group with on the island, killing my comrades. I became a monster a long time ago. That was a week ago. He killed someone willingly I wouldn't think it was a week, it was a day ago. He killed somebody like a day ago willingly. Without any kind of remorse. Somewhere inside of my head, one day, the promise I made with Aaron to go on a journey into the unknown world. I thought you'd make that come true. The world, you definitely have explored. You've destroyed most of it, you two fucking evil bitches. The unknown world, it was like, <laughs> after all, 
Yeah, it's different from the world we saw in our dreams. But I, I guess it's supposed to be a white dove. It's just a white dove. I don't know. It could be a white dove. It's, it's like a, so it's like a um, a seagull. But maybe it's supposed to be a white dove in a way. Still, that which we don't know must definitely be out there beyond these walls. That's what I want to believe. The path which diverged will once again to be continued in the October edition. This is a September edition, so we will continue getting it monthly. Dude, Aaron is like lost in the world, bro. The moment you realize you're free, you're going to go with you.